Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I'm going to be talking about my winter favorites. I have a lot to talk about today. I found a lot of awesome products that I'm really excited about. But first, I need to point out that I was looking at some of my older videos and I freaking ramble so much. I'm such a rambler. I can talk. Like, get me going and I can just talk and like not stop. So I think that I'm going to try to make this shorter, but um, I have a lot to talk about in this video. I really, really, really <laughs> need to stop rambling about each product that I talk about in product re reviews because I like to go like really really in depth about each thing but like I don't think people want to be sitting here watching me talk for like 25-30 minutes like that's so long like I wouldn't want to watch anyone talk for that long I know I'm not that interesting so I'm going to try to make this shorter and sweeter and hopefully we can crank this out in like maybe like 15 minutes maybe Maybe like 15 minutes? Maybe? Let's see what we can do. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is clothes because naturally that's what I'm most excited about always. My favorite item that I have found so far this winter is called It's a Thai Tank from Lululemon. I'm wearing it right now. Anytime I have worn one of these types of shirts in my pictures on Instagram, people have freaked out and I've had a million DMs, a million messages, a million comments asking, where'd you get that shirt? What's the name of that shirt? What's the name of that shirt? So I'm going to talk about these shirts because people seem to love them and I myself love them. It's a tie take. It's so cute. I just I love it, I love it, I love it. Basically anything that has like a cool tie or like wrap or weird way that you can wear it, I want it. So I'm wearing it right now. This color is graphite green. The other color I have it in is splatter dye black. So it's really, really cool because you can wear it high neck in the front and tie it up in the back or you can wear it v-neck in the front and tie it in the back and have it be high neck in the back, which is so cool because it's reversible, which is awesome. So this guy sold out super, super quickly. I usually wear a Lululemon size four, but I had to get a size six in both of these because the size two and the size four were gone, like gone immediately because this is an item that they've had in the past that they brought back and obviously people were really, really stoked about it and really excited about it. So they snatched it up really, really quickly and I think it's still Still, like almost completely sold out in stores and on the website in smaller sizes so I'm sorry you might not be able to get your hands on it but they just released it's a tie long sleeve which seems like it would be a much more winter appropriate item because here I am in the middle of winter talking about tank tops which makes total sense but it's a tie long sleeve that one comes in black pink and white so the it's a tie tank is $38 and the it's a tie long sleeve is $58 another very very similar item I have is a tied to it wrap just hung up super weird let me just fix this so this guy has the same thing it can tie up in the front and you can wear it as a v-neck or you can wear it high neck in the front and a low back business in the front party in the back all these shirts are just so fun they tie in at the like perfect spot it kind of makes your waist look super super narrow you can wear them a little bit looser you can wear them a little bit tighter i've actually worn these out to like dinner and stuff like that several times so they're very very versatile so i have the heathered black cherry color and heathered black and I got both of these in a size four because I still had my sizes of these. You gotta act fast. I know they still have these online right now. And these ones are $68. The second thing I wanna talk about is Adidas Swift Runs. What I love about these is they're cheaper than most Adidas. For a while there, Adidas and MDs were all the rage. They still are for the most part, but they're not as exciting as they were like a year ago. Adidas and MDs are not cheap. They're $130 or the XR ones, these ones are like $150. So I love my XR ones, I do, but $150 for a pair of shoes, like, I'm sorry. That's a little bit ridiculous. So these ones are $90 and some colors on some websites 
are even cheaper. I've seen ones that are like selling for 50 bucks, which is awesome. I got mine from Nordstrom, but I know they sell them at Finish Line, Foot Locker, Macy's. They sell them on the Adidas website too, but Adidas, the website, they, I feel like they just try to like hype up their items. They're like, we got more shoes and they sell out like that. And then you're just like, okay, well, where did they go? And why am I here? So I usually get my shoes from other websites besides the Adidas website. So yeah, I got these from Nordstrom. They were $90. I think that they are just as comfortable, if not more comfortable than NMDs. They're a little bit more of a running shoe, although I don't really run, so don't take my advice for running shoes. But they, they definitely feel like a little bit more of a running shoe than the NMDs. The NMDs are very, very flat. So I usually wear a size seven and a half to eight in shoes. I got a seven and a half in these. They feel a tiny bit big. I feel like I maybe could have even gone down to a seven. I think Adidas sizing is seriously whack. The NMDs that I have are a size seven and they're too big. I could have gone down to like a size six and a half, which like, what the heck Adidas? I I would say that these ones are pretty true to size. I usually wear a seven and a half in most of my Nike running shoes, but you could size down a half size in these as well. They come in a ton of different colors. I got black because I am boring and black goes with everything, but they are sparkly. So next up, I want to talk a little bit about beauty products. So if you've seen any of my YouTube videos or you follow me on Instagram, you know that I don't really know anything about beauty and makeup and anything like that, but I'm trying to learn. I'm really trying to learn. So I went to Sephora recently. Pro tip, every time you go buy something at Sephora, if you want to learn things, book a makeover. Your makeover is going to be free, but you have to buy $50 of product afterwards, which at Sephora is very, very easy because makeup is expensive there. So I went to Sephora recently and I got my makeup done and I told her that I was looking for a new foundation because I had like a very heavy foundation and I was like I just feel like this is way too heavy to be wearing every day and she was like yeah that's really heavy to be wearing every day unless you're literally like an actress on TV or like a model that's getting like photo shoots every day like it was one of those foundations that was super super thick and like made for like being behind the camera which like you know I am okay that was bad <laughs> <laughs> I told her that I wanted something just like for more like every day that was like pretty full coverage like close to a foundation but what didn't feel so heavy and thick so she taught me I learned so much every time I go to Sephora you guys she taught me about CC cream I picked up your skin but better CC plus color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum which has SPF 50 plus UVA, UVB, broad spectrum, physical sunscreen. Yeah. I had no idea what CC cream was until she introduced it to me. Apparently on the scale of coverage, it goes tinted moisturizer and then BB cream and then CC cream. And so far I love it. It feels really, really nice. It feels really lightweight. I don't feel like cakey like a lot of times with my old foundation i felt very like cakey with it like at the end of the day i was like oh my gosh i feel like i just have like a mask on my face so this is super lightweight i love that it has spf in it because that's good for you even though i live in seattle so i see the sun like twice a month just kidding i see the sun a little bit more than that but <laughs> you know winter in seattle i probably don't need the spf but i like feeling like i'm protecting my skin and i'm sure in the summertime it'll be nice having spf i will mention i have like super sensitive skin i talked about this in my eyebrow microblading video i used to only be able to wear baby sunscreen and wear organic makeup because my skin is so sensitive I just like get rashes and like break out, like really, really easily react to things. I did not react to this, so that's good. I think honestly, I've kind of just forced my skin to get used to wearing random stuff because when I was younger, it was way worse, but now I've been like, you're gonna take this and you're gonna be okay with it. Anyway, this guy was $38 from Sephora, which is pretty pricey, especially because there's only 1.08 fluid ounces in this guy. I've literally had it for like maybe two-ish weeks and I already I already feel like I'm running out, which I didn't really think about that when I bought it. I was like, yeah, woo, more foundation type things. Okay, here we go. 
I've been using it every day and I already feel like it's almost gone. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it has a little bit more in there. Usually my foundations, I can make them last for like months and months and months. So we'll see if this guy lasts very long. If I feel like it's not lasting me long enough i'm probably gonna try to find a dupe foundation like a drugstore one that is very similar so if you have any recommendations for dupe foundations for the it cosmetics one please let me know and i would like to go check those out and i'll keep you updated if i find a good one one other thing i picked up when i was at sephora was the smashbox step-by-step -step contour kit so again I know literally nothing about makeup. I told her I wanted to learn a little bit, so I have like very, very basic items. If there's like a bunch of different palettes in something, I'm very overwhelmed and very, very confused and I don't know what to use. So this lays it all out for you. It makes it very, very simple. There is the contour, the bronzer, and the highlight. And there's a little diagram of where you should put each which is great. And a little mirror. How cute is that? And it comes with a little contour brush. So you can go contour right there. Yeah. I still really don't know what I'm doing, but I love this guy and it makes me feel like I'm trying and I'm learning. Hopefully I think it blends out really well and I have liked using it so far So if you are a beginner to contour bronzer highlight literally makeup in general This guy could be your best friend and this cost me $35 and I have a feeling it's going to last me a lot longer than my CC cream because I'm not gonna need to contour every day the next thing I want to talk about is food my second favorite topic so i am always on the quest for wonderful protein bars and i like switching it up and trying new things so i ordered these paleo protein bars off amazon from the brand julian bakery so i ordered a variety pack and there's tons of different flavors and i liked most of them they actually had really really pretty terrible reviews on amazon but i think a lot of those had to do with the texture and the texture is kind of it's pretty taffy like Texture doesn't really bother me though, honestly. I'm more of a flavor gal, and I think that they all, for the most part, tasted pretty good, and the macros are really good, and it's really clean ingredients. I was a fan of them. So my favorite flavor was the sunflower butter, and this bar has 150 calories, three grams of fat, 28 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So I think that the calories are only counting the net carbs. It only has four ingredients, which is awesome because if it's full of ingredients, especially ones that you can't pronounce, probably not good for you. Just a rule of thumb. So the ingredients are egg white powder, organic prebiotic fiber, organic sunflower butter, and monk fruit extract. So that monk fruit extract is the sweetener and the protein is from egg whites, which is great because I feel like there are so many whey protein bars out there and there aren't enough other options. So I love it when I can find an egg white protein bar or a vegan protein bar. I know that these ones have paleo vegan ones as well. So they probably have ones that are with vegan protein. And they also have ones with like beef protein or something. I think I tried a few of those in the variety pack and I was a little bit nervous. I was like, beef protein, that sounds weird, but like they were good and I like them. So these bars I have been loving. I got these on Amazon. It was $24 for 12. I think that the variety pack was a little bit more because you're trying different bars, but overall not bad at all. Next up, I want to talk about supplements. Although the first supplement is kind of like a crossover because it is food too. So I don't know, supplements, food, whatever. So the next thing is Orgain, organic protein powder. The flavor is chocolate peanut butter. So I first got Orgain from Costco. I really like their vanilla protein powder. So I ordered their chocolate peanut butter protein powder off of Amazon and it's really good too. So this is a plant-based protein powder, so it's vegan. I'm not vegan, but if I'm having something like a bar or a shake, you can like almost always find whey, but it's harder to find good products that aren't whey protein. This guy is 40 bucks for a two pound tub. The macros are 150 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, 
16 grams of carbs and 21 grams of protein. So obviously that's gonna be higher carb than like your typical whey isolate protein powder. But I'm just trying to like switch things up because if you have too much of any one thing, it's probably not good for you. Variety is key in your diet. So I try to switch things up and get protein from different sources. I feel like it's really easy to find good chocolate and vanilla flavored vegan protein, but they don't really have as many like fun flavor options. Whey protein has just like been around longer, so they've been able to develop it a little bit more and there's tons of fun flavors and brands and da 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 da. But as far as finding a good vegan one, it's a little bit harder. So when I found they had chocolate peanut butter, I was like, okay. Of course, anything with peanut butter has my heart and soul. Also, I saw they have a pumpkin spice flavored vegan protein powder. So I think that's probably up next on my list for me to try and I'll let you know if it's good. But yeah, so this guy's awesome. Again, no artificial stuff in here. Naturally sweetened, non-GMO, organic, all that good stuff. The next item that I want to talk about, BCAAs. So I actually don't really know how effective BCAAs are. There's a lot of research going around right now saying BCAAs aren't necessary, da 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 da. I don't really know. To be completely honest, I just like having BCAAs because it reminds me to drink water more often and I don't drink enough water. I'm gonna say that right now, regardless of how many water bottles I carry around with me, I've tried the whole gallon jug thing. I forget to drink water because water gets old. Don't get me wrong, like water's good quenches your thirst. I just get bored with it, so I like to switch it up. I ordered these Extend Free BCAAs from Amazon. Where else? The brand is Cyvation. I ordered strawberry kiwi and crisp apple, and I think the flavors are pretty good. The strawberry kiwi is definitely a little bit sweeter. It definitely tastes like natural, let's be honest. So if there's like a taste comparison test between stuff that is artificially sweetened and naturally sweetened. The artificially sweetened stuff is always gonna taste better, it's always gonna taste sweeter, but I try to keep things nice and clean up in here, nice and natural. I don't really go for the artificial stuff, which makes it hard because most supplements are artificially sweetened, but people are getting their acts together and they're starting to release more products that are naturally sweetened, so I'm all about that. Holla, good for you. High fives all around if you have been doing that. So these guys have eight calories per one scoop, two grams of carbs, one gram of sugar. It has no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, so I like these guys, I'm all about it. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more natural, I would definitely give these a try. The strawberry kiwi flavor was $22, the crisp apple was $27. Don't really know why there was a price difference, but I really like these. So the last item I wanna talk about is True Lemon. So True Lemon, they actually reached out to me and wanted to send these to me. And fun fact, I actually already was buying these from the grocery store, so then they wanted to send me free ones. I was like, yes please. So they sent me a bunch of different kinds actually that I hadn't tried before. And I just love them all. Like I was saying, I don't really drink enough water and I love to flavor my water sometimes to remind me to drink it, to get me a little more excited, to get me a little more hydrated. So True Lemon, they have a bunch of different flavors and basically it has just no artificial flavors, sweeteners, colors. These little tiny sticks that you can bring on the go with you. So I actually like have these in my purse. So if I'm at work and I get bored drinking my water, I will sweeten it with one of these little sticks. It's 10 calories per packet, three grams of carbs, one gram of sugar. The ingredients are black tea, cane sugar, citric acid, stevia leaf extract, lemon juice, solids, and natural pea peach flavor. So basically another item that is naturally sweetened. If anything is sweetened with stevia or monk fruit, I want it. They have the regular flavors. They also have the energy flavors, which have caffeine in them. And then they have the true lime or true lemon and then true orange. If you're like a person that really enjoys drinking lemon water or likes the like very, very like hint of flavor. It's just like the essence of that flavor in there. I got these at the grocery store a while back, QFC, which is Kroger, but they only have a couple flavors there. And now I found them on Amazon. Of course, I love Amazon. I think they're only like three-ish dollars per pack, but you can buy them in bulk so you get multiple flavors. Also, just wanted to give a little honorary shout out to my Hydro Flask for reminding me to drink water. This guy is a 40 ounce Hydro Flask in the color graphite and 
has a straw, which is great. Anything that has a straw, I'm sold on because I just hate having to like open up a water bottle. I like drinking out of a straw. It makes it easier and I will drink more from it. So this guy is great because it keeps things cold for up to 24 hours and I think hot for up to like I don't know, eight hours or something like that, but I always drink cold water in here. And I put a little Lululemon sticker on there because I'm basic. That is going to conclude this video. If you are interested in any of the products that I talked about, all the links will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will catch you in my next video.